Hello everyone, praise be to God on this glorious day today, and welcome back to Mandel's Maze Mayhem, the Maze Madness level pack that I'm playing. So we are on world 4 now, starting with level 16, this world is called Tangled Bay. So whether this is the seaweed jungle or the kelp forest, I don't know, let's find out now. It's the seaweed look jungle. Look at all those kelp seeds! I love this, the look of this already. Got the seaweed on the slimy green background. This is gonna look real nice. And unfortunately now we've got these kelp gates. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so this clam pushes me back, so... I forgot he would push me down as well. Whoops. Already off to a great start. Oh no. No, didn't look carefully enough at that. Alright. I will collect the purple sea urchin and come back to this room. Oh, okay. Exits down here. Oh, we've got a bubble, eh? I would like that. Back, you horrible beast! Uh oh. Orange sponges. Fun. Not sure if I'll be able to get the bubble or not. Also, the orange... <laughs> The orange gates are kind of annoying, where they stay closed for a very long time and open only for a very short time, so this is gonna be fun. Those crabs are not going anywhere. Nor did I really expect them to. Because <laughs> they'll have to go through that gate. I have bubble bath, I'll probably just use the bubble bath to get the bubble, I think that's a fair trade. Woo! Extra life! Definitely not because I had a game over. Nope. I can't move. It won't let me move to the right. What the heck? It wouldn't let me shoot a bubble bath. Oh, open up. Open up. Come on. Please. You having a good time there? <laughs> this bubble might have been a trap. It's the most powerful power-up, but it doesn't last super long, so maybe I shouldn't have wasted some bubble bath to get it. As well as a life. Don't close. Thank you. Yum yum ice cream. Excellent. Oh. That's right. Beautiful. So now I've got a bubble for a little bit, as well as a worm doodle. Oh my! Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp seeds are everywhere! Okay, that's a new one on me. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well... I'll save that kelp seed for later. No, my source of powers. I was afraid that the sponge was going to glitch and I would clip through it and hit the boar fish. I think that that's a worthy. I think that's a worthy worry to have. Yeah, what of it? <laughs> Arrgh, the angler fish. All right. Pretty cool world thus far. I really do like the aesthetic. Oh, but I wish that the power-ups lasted a little longer. Yeah, I probably should have just saved my bubble bath. Bubble bath actually might be the best power-up because you can save it and use it whenever you need to, as opposed to. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, there's, that's just a kelp seed up there. Whoops. What a life, indeed. <laughs> Okay. That first room is kind of nasty if you don't have any means of protecting yourself. Oh, that's right. Take the long way home. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the kelp gates because they, it really it really just seems to prolong the inevitable, basically. It just kind of adds slowness to the game. Except in this situation, I suppose. Actually, no, even then it still kind of adds tedium. <laughs> Not a fan of that. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It literally just is like, oh, if you don't want to waste a bubble bath, then you just have to wait here for a really long time. So, I gotta say, I don't give a pass to that. That I would change. Whoosh. But then again, it's not my pack. Oh, hi, what a life's. The Squid Father. Alright, that's two levels down. Let's see what the other three are all about. Oh boy, pebbles! Wow, Grandma Grouper's kelp bees are everywhere! <laughs> also, I think I mentioned it in my main Let's Play. I'm sure I did, but I adore the music in this world. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. I like that. Really tiny room. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be, uh, letting you free, little crab. I don't care how shiny you are. <laughs> how do you like that? That's how you like that. Later, folks! <laughs> Alright, back in this room. Okay. Wait, no, this is a... No, this is the same room. Well, shoot. <laughs> Wait, I'm confused. How am I supposed to get up there? Because there are bubbles that push me through there. Oh, I see. I'm a bit slow on the uptake, but yeah, I see now. This is why there are two gates. Yeah, this, something like this, it, it kind of relies on you to have bubble bath in order to do it fast. Otherwise, you're just waiting for everything to line up just perfectly. Because I've got to wait for this guy and this guy to both be on that side, as well as for the gate to be open. So I'm going to swim up and then swim to the left. Bummer. Yeah, I know I could just use my bubble bath, but no. I'm almost out of it. <laughs> uh -oh. oh, thank goodness he slowed down. <laughs> Clap, 
Clever use of the foreground options, though. It looks like this is a wall, but nope, the crab can swim underneath it. <laughs> That's... I don't know how I feel about that. You have to backtrack all the way back to the beginning to get that kelp seed. I'm, all, I'm the kind of guy who's like, I'll just leave a kelp seed in a room that's easy to get, so that way if there's... Because I'm always used to, like, level 40 in the first game, in the, like, real official Maze Madness. Where, uh, <laughs> if you get all the kelp seeds too early, then, uh, you can't get all the bonus stuff. Uh, yeah! Like, this room is really well designed. I like it. <laughs> Especially like how the crab is stuck behind the sponge. Ooh, I love this room too. This room is really cool. <laughs> we need more stuff like that. Booyah. Alright. Three levels down. This world, I really like the aesthetics. I'm not really loving the levels thus far, but it's mainly just because of the kelp gates. I, I lose a lot of lives because I'm impatient. Oh, bubble bath refill. Lovely. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Interesting. So I can do that. of sponges is going to be necessary here. And yeah, I see that room right to the left. confused. Okay, interesting. Okay. You folks see what we're, we're trying to do now? Mm, okay. So, what I want to ideally do is be able to push one of these sponges back towards the middle so I can get the other purple sea urchin. The problem is, I think there are bubbles at every junction. This isn't the bonus room level. I'm just wondering, what am I gonna miss if I don't get that second purple sea urchin? And if I destroy that sponge to get out, then I'm gonna lose my chance. I don't really have any choice at this point. I'm trapped, there's no other way out. Wait, there are no gates in this? Really? Well, I definitely want that sandwich. I am a man who can, in, who can appreciate a good sandwich. 
even. I don't like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. I don't like this. I do not like this. <sighs> that blowfish, if he had popped out of the bubble too soon, then oh man, that would have been real bad. Thank goodness blowfish are slow. Okay, if they're wait. Okay, I don't really know why there are two purple sea urchins in there. That seems interesting. The first room could have been a lot more interesting if the bonus room was on this level. Come on, little gate, just open up and let me out. Hey, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. No, I'm not going out of my way to get that ice cream cone, sorry. Alright, last level. There is a bonus room on this level. I'm gonna get Time it. To get all those and those sponges make me a little nervous. Alright, so there's a room off to the... Room off to the right there. And swim through that. Er, can we swim through that? No, we can't swim through that. Okay. Well, easy first starting move. There's the only way I can go. Can I? No. You just flat out cannot destroy those. Okay. There is no point in using my sand dollar to go up because destroying that sponge won't do anything. This way. Alright, gotta think about my moves. That green sponge can be very helpful. Something tells me the scepter might appear there, maybe not. I can't see a bonus room crack in this room anyhow. But a lot of stuff is blending in. Alright. Gotta move that up. Actually, I should take a look at this room. What's up in this room? A lot of blowfish, and where is the bonus room entrance? I still can't really see it. Yeah, I have no idea where the bonus room entrance is gonna open up. Hmm. <laughs> about that? Well, that's interesting. I'll save that kelp seed for last. <laughs> oh no, I can't get that shell anymore. Actually, yeah. I'm glad that we can push sponges and the enemies can't. <laughs> if the enemies could push sponges, holy cow, that would add a lot of fake difficulty. The sound of sponges getting knocked around is pretty satisfying. 
No, I just want my cotton candy. Even though cotton candy is not very good in real life. Nope. Okay, um, with all these sponges knocking around, it's a little too much, a little too much pandemonium, so we'll come back there later. Alright. Purple sea urchin. Alright, where to go for that? We gotta go down there again. Alright. Rabush! I'll bet you almost anything the scepter's gonna appear there. Alright. Oh, there's the bonus room. Right there. Okay, yeah. Prediction. That will make the scepter spawn there. And we're gonna need to use the green sponge to get through. Okay, that was magic. Oh no, are you serious? I, wait, why can't- why did these sponges just spawn in such a weird way that I can't get over there? Is, am I gonna have to reset for- again for the stupid bonus room? It's not a stupid bonus room, I really want that bonus room. But I can't push it over these sponges because... reasons. Shouldn't have entered that second room, I guess. Okay, that's kind of stupid. What? Yeah, that's really stupid because the sponge doesn't spawn there. So if you if you just get unlucky, because and I always do get unlucky because that's who I am. Oh, that's bogus. Don't like that. All right, fine. We're getting the bonus room. This room. a bit better. At least a little bit. Let's clear up some of these sponges. Yeah, I'm guessing if you leave the room, I'm guessing what happens is that the sponges then stop moving, and they stop moving not in their initial position, but in whatever position they were on when you left the room. Which I'm, I'm just gonna say is really stupid. Right, before I make the scepter, well, hang on. Before I make the scepter appear, let's see where the scepter appears. I'm gonna bet almost anything that it's spawning where I said it would. Sure enough. Alright. There we go. Lovely bonus room. Okay. That wasn't too, so hard. Yeah, yeah. That mean okay, if if this tile set is used exclusively for the bonus rooms, that might mean that we get the bonus room tile set as its own world. Which would be awesome. 
Maybe the final one? <laughs> have I, I, I'm trying to remember, have I had to reset for every bonus room this far? I'm not sure if World 2 counts, because I know I reset World 2 because I completely forgot about the World 1 bonus room. But I can't remember if I screwed up actually getting to the World 2 bonus room. That might just be the reoccurring theme for this Let's Play, where I have to reset for every single bonus room, because some of them are very difficult to get to, and this, this one was not my fault. It really was not my fault. You could argue that, well, you could see the bonus, you could see, like, the crack in the first room, so you didn't have to leave. And you're right, I didn't, but it's also very hard to notice the crack on the walls when the walls are dark green and black, and the background is also dark green, so everything just kind of blends together. Also, I was unaware that the red, that the orange sponges save their current position. Oh. Darn it, I have to take the long way out again, because I didn't make the shortcut open. So I wanted to keep backup sponges, just in case. I mean, it kind of makes sense why the yellow and green sponges save their positions, but the orange sponges are... Alright, you dumb butts. Hi. How's it going? Oh, come on! I thought I, I thought I'd make it. I didn't. I've officially... Freddy, you gotta eat that. Thank goodness for sponge glitches, am I right? And thank goodness Blowfish have pretty stupid AI. I'm not sure if Blowfish are easier to deal with than Anglerfish. Anglerfish are faster, but also much more easy to manipulate or pre and predict. Yeah, because like they they can kind of turn around on a whim if they want to. Oh, that was the last kelp seed. Didn't get the shell. Oh well. Well, do you know? Just under a half hour again. How about that? All things considered, that world was probably my least favorite of the worlds thus far, just because the first three levels had those kelp gates that were kind of annoying to deal with. But the last two levels are pretty great. I really did like that last level, because honestly, the whole sponge thing, that's really not your fault. There's nothing that you can do about that. So, I still am having a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody, and tune in next time. We're going to World 5, which is, just so people can get the sneak peek, it is called Midnight Cavern. I'm looking forward to that. Probably going to be the Black Caves again, like which is World 1 in Maze Madness. That's my prediction, anyways. Maybe with like a really dark sea background. Look forward to that. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.